There's a lot of sites on the display network where you don't want to show your ads. In this video, I'm going to show you how to exclude them using the Site and Category Exclusion tool, which you can see right here on your Tools page. Now, currently, I have no idea how to get to this page by clicking on something in your AdWords account. You used to be able to go to Tools and Analysis, and there was a More Tools link down here. It's gone. So instead, you have to actually manually type in the web address. So if you go to AdWords and you're in your account, you're logged in, then simply replace the long string here with select, all lowercase, slash tools with the T capitalized and you get to this page. So now let's go to the site and category exclusion tool itself. Okay, we're here. The first thing we have to do is select a campaign because all exclusions are at the campaign level. So you can see there are four tabs, different types of exclusions. The first one is site exclusions. You can exclude individual websites, individual uh, subdomains like negative.example.com, individual directories slash category, and individual pages. And you simply just type it in here. So if you don't want to show your ads on uh, my site, you can simply go to askhowie.com. If you just don't want to show it on the blog posts, you can go to blog. If you don't want to show it on a particular blog post, something like that and it's a way to get very granular if there's pages where you don't want your ads showing. Now the best way to figure out what those are is to look at your data and see are there sites that simply shouldn't be showing my ads because they're performing very poorly. So the next tab is topics and there's six different topics that Google thinks a lot of people might want to opt out of. Conflict and tragedy and edgy content, basically violence and sex. So if you sell something like a surefire military grade flashlight, then you probably do want to appear in the conflict and tragedy pages, um, but probably not for the edgy content. Although if this was a live account, you could actually look and see, is this giving us good traffic or not? You can go to all time. These numbers will show you exactly the impressions, clicks, CTR, conversions, conversion rate, and the most important number, cost for conversion. And if your cost for conversion is zero or extremely high, then you know to exclude it. So simply exclude these by checking them and then scrolling down a bit and clicking Save All Changes. So that takes you back to the Sites tab, and now you can see there are six excluded topics. The next tab, Media Types, has only two, Video and Embedded Video. And again, you can go to All Time or whatever makes sense for you. Last two months, you can do it as uh, customized as you want and see are these good sites or not. Again, if you want to exclude these, you can save all changes. If you don't want to do video, you can just do Embedded Video. But if you do, embedded, if you do video, then it includes Embedded Video. Save all changes and back to sites. The last one is different page types and there are two network types here error pages and park domains. Error pages means if someone comes to your website and they type in your domain name dot com whatever and then the name of a page that doesn't exist either it's a typo or you've removed the page or you've renamed the page then they get what might be called a 404 error where it says this page doesn't exist. Would you like to search the home page? Would you like to do something else? Well, some people say, why don't I earn money every time someone can't find a page on my site? Let's throw some AdSense up. So those t tend to be very poor quality traffic because someone is on that page by mistake and they don't want to stay there. They want to hit the back button and go find what they're looking for. The second is parked domains, which is if, some, if you register a website, but you haven't gotten around, so you own the domain name, but you haven't gotten around to doing anything with it, your host, the company that you uh, park the domain on, could, could say to you, hey, do you want to earn some money from ads? And they'll probably split that with you. And you, you set up um, some Google ads on that domain. And someone comes and says, you know, I want to go to this site, but it, oh, it's not there yet. Well, why don't I just click some Google ads? And Google has a huge inventory of park domains, which are arguably really poor quality traffic. And again, you can find that out by looking at the metrics. 
Also, there's four different types of user-generated content, forums on websites. Uh, those typically don't have a high interactivity rate with ads because people are so busy asking and answering questions on the forum. And similarly, with image sharing pages, social networks, video sharing pages. So if you want to exclude all those, you do the same thing, do your clicks, and save all changes. So that's the site and category exclusion tool. Use it to reduce your exposure to bad sites in the placement network, in the display network, and get a better ROI, make and keep more money. Enjoy, have a great day.